Guys, Ed Walters here. Welcome to episode five of Trackman Tuesday. Uh, we are down at the TaylorMade Performance Center here at Truffaut Golf Center in Warrington. Uh, and today I'm gonna look at how to control distance on some wedge shots. So let's go and take a look. Right guys, so when it comes to trying to control the distance that you're hitting your pitch shots, there's two parameters which we're going to use looking at through TrackMan. First one is club head speed, because if we can try and produce a consistency in that club head speed, then it will help us produce distance control in terms of how far we carry the ball. And that's the second parameter, so carry distance as well. You know, sometimes the ball is going to react differently on the put-in surface because you might land it on a down slope, you might land it into an up slope, you might get a little bit more spin on some shots than others. But it's all about whether you can control how far that ball goes through the air. If you can control that part of it, you'll be able to get a lot more consistency in the short game, in the pitching, and be able to then get the ball a little closer proximity-wise to the hole and give yourself more chances of hole and puts getting up and down from those distances which are within 100 yards, which is crucial to really lowering your scores. So I've got 54 degree wedge here and I'm just going to hit a few shots. I'm going to hit them to sort of different distances in terms of I'm going to hit a few shots to one dist to try and control one distance and then I'm going to change the length of swing so I control the speed and then try and control the distance that goes with that. So I'm going to make a three quarter swing feeling and I'm going to see how far and what speed it produces through the trackman results. So the strike was nice. Let's see what speed we got there. So we got 74.6 miles an hour, carry distance of 90 yards, 90.6 yards. So I'm gonna try and recreate the same feeling. The tempo of the swing wants to be the same. I'm gonna try and recreate the same length of swing. And if I get the same type of strike, hopefully I'll get close to the same distance. So the strike felt similar off the face. Speed uh, 74 miles an hour exactly. Carry distance 93.6. I'm going to hit one more at that feeling. So again, strike felt nice. Overall look of the shot is exactly the same. 75 on the club head speed, 90.5 on the distance. So let's take a look at those three together. So when we look at those there, I'm just going to put the, um, the information on the screen there now all together. So all three club head speeds carry distance. We've got the first one at 74.6 in terms of the club head speed. The second one we've got 74 exactly. The third one we've got at 75. So the club head speed very, very consistent. And in terms of the carry distance, 90.6 yards of the first one, 93.6 of the second one, and 90.5 with the third one. So by being able to control my tempo and just make a more controlled swing, so what feels to me a more three quarter length swing I can control the distance pretty accurately really you know I've got two almost identical and one three yards a little bit further on into its carry distance in terms of being able to hit my shots from a, a specific distance if I can say it correctly um, and then get much closer proximity to the hole from that that place so let's hit a few shots now but we'll change the length of the swing and we'll see what the club head speed is, what the distance is, and then try and get a couple more shots in there at a similar speed and a similar distance. Okay, so I'm gonna feel a little bit more of a half length of swing. Okay, and we'll see what speed that produces and we'll see what distance that also produces there. So my feeling in terms of my half length is more of what my arm's doing than anything else. My lead arm isn't traveling as big in the circle. So for me, I'm gonna be feeling, I'm gonna face, face on you there. I'm gonna be feeling more sort of par around parallel to target line. I'm, my three quarter feeling is a little bit more in what may be the sort of 10 o'clock position to 10.30 position. I wanna feel a bit more between sort of half eight to half nine if you imagine that on the clock face so let's hit the first one and see what happens see what speed and distance we try and get so the strike there wasn't as good there's a little bit low off the face we've got 65 miles an hour with the club head speed 74.1 
Okay, right, so let's see if I can get the same type of club head speed coming through and see how we can control that distance. So there we've got the strike better. The overall look of the shot in terms of its direction, trajectory is very similar. So there we've got 63.9 and 76.7. Okay, let me hit one more. Again. So the look of the shot is very, very similar. Having a little look at that one, 66.3, 81.4. So let's take a look at them all together. Okay, so again, we've got the three sets of numbers on the side there. The first one to look at was 65 miles an hour dead, 74.1 a distance. And as I say, the strike wasn't very good on that one. It was a little bit low out of the face. 63.9 on the second one with 76.7 in terms of the distance where the strike was better. And in the third one, it was a little bit faster in terms of the club head speed at 66.3. And from there, the distance was a little bit more 81.4. And the big thing with that is the one thing that I take from that personally is that I need to practice that feeling of shot, that half sort of feeling of swing shot, to be able to gain more consistency from that. It's a shot that I really don't practice, to be fair. Um, I would practice hitting a three quarter feeling more than I would do a half feeling. So for me personally, I would need to practice that one a little bit more. I'm gonna do one more now where I just make what feels like quite a short controlled move and I'm gonna try and control the distance on this one. I wanna try and get the feeling of hitting this one 50 yards. So we'll see if I can control it and what the speed is to produce that and then can I repeat it as we go through. So let's have a look at this third one. <clears throat> okay, so for me, in my mind, I only wanna be moving the club about this far, really. You know, maybe getting a, that lead arm moving in and around sort of that 7.30 to eight o'clock feeling. So it's then about controlling the tempo and controlling that arm movement. That's where I need to feel. So let's see if, how close I can get to controlling the 50 yard carry feel. Okay, so the strike on that was really, really nice. So 48.7 with the club head speed, 52.2. So pretty good, definitely take that every time. The question is now, can I produce it every time? So again, I wanna try and get the same feeling, same control, and ultimately, if I can control that, the strike then becomes important to control in my distance. Okay, so not quite as good a strike from that one. So it's not picked up my club head speed there, as we can see, but the carry distance of 43.7. So there is a big chunk. I've lost nine yards there because I've missed the strike. Okay, let's hit one more. So strike was much, much better. 51.8 on the club head speed. 59.8 with the distance. So again, let's take a look at those there. So again, we put those up. So those three lots of numbers there. So the first swing speed there, 48.7. If you look at the last one there, it's a 51.8. So there's a big change in those club head speeds. 52.2 um, with the first one, 43.7 on the second one, and then the last one there at 59.8. So a big change in how controlled those distances are when I'm trying to just pick the distance itself. The first one, great, I would take that all, all day long. The other two would leave the proximity of the hole different. So it's important that when we're trying to play these shots, we know what our distances are and we know what our club head speeds are. And as long as we can start to control length of swing, keeping the speed the same, if we get the strike right, we'll be able to start to control much better, especially out on the golf course, the distance that we carry the ball. And from that point, we'll be able to improve how we score. Because ultimately, 
if we can't control those distances, we're gonna to struggle to get up and down. So you're gonna to struggle to save your par, sometimes save a good bogey, sometimes give you enough birdie opportunities, depending on where you are and what your situation is. So one of the biggest things I would recommend you do is get out, get measured, have short game sessions with TrackMan or any other launch monitor where you can measure how good you are at starting to control club head speed, length of swing, and then control that distance. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I post your comments in the box below. I'd love to know if you have any issues controlling your distance with your pitch shots, especially when you're within that sort of 100 yards distance. Post comments in the box below. As always, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. You can catch me on social networks. The links are in the description below. I look forward to seeing you again next week for episode six of Trackman Tuesday. Thanks for watching.